So let's continue with uh, question 16, 17. I, I, I guess question 16 is rather straightforward. So you first unearth it. You have to bring it from underneath the ground to fresh air, and then second, you spray the solution over the item, and then you wrap it in plastic, as we have seen in paragraph 70. And last, you sent it to a laboratory. That's easy. Most people got it. Question 17 is where the problem, the root problem is. You see, all of them got a very low percentage of correct rate. About, I mean, less than one third of the candidates got it correct. So there must be some tricky thing about it. And um, so it's still about the artifacts Shang Mao Shang shows the author. Smart thing to do. Highlight the key words. Here is name. Who is an archaeologist? Yeah. So use one word. So probably you don't want to refer to paragraph seven anymore. It should be paragraph eight or starting from paragraph eight because you see his name, her name again here. Yeah. Shen Mo Shen. So let's see. Um. Why don't we start with the paragraphs? Or I mean, le why don't we start with the blanks here? So this this expert first shows the author something which have a similar appearance to a backpack, something like a backpack, and to recently unearthed something. Then he reviews a real find, uh, this and uh, that, still in one piece. So even if you do not look at these answers, you would know at least at first glance that the four blanks should be four different items that Shang unearthed from beneath the ground. So it must be four different items, four artifacts. But what are they? With that in mind, you go back to the paragraphs. All right. So you, w when you are completing this kind of fill in the blank question type yeah the very first thing is you go through the whole box very quickly make a clever guess at the blanks and see what you're trying to locate when you go back to the main paragraph so four items remember so with that in mind we'll go back here in the narrow blah 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 so this archaeologist leads me past the, the site yeah and they are, in fact, clay quiver still bristling. You find you just saw the word backpacks, and now you see the words backpacks again. What look like terracotta backpacks across the reddish soil? And they, the backpack, are, in fact, clay quivers you find the plural s so you can almost be sure that the clay quivers which is two words and you find two blanks here the plural word are uh, clay quivers they should be referring back to the word they which in turn should refer back to the word backpacks and you can be almost sure that the clay quivers are the answers to the first item because uh, uh, the, the archaeologist first shows the author clay quivers which have a similar appearance to backpacks. So bingo, the first one. So first item. And then uh, he and I skirt the remnants of a freshly blah 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 of a freshly excavated something. Then stop beside another thing. Want to see a real find. So here is another item a freshly unnerved sh chariot okay and then the real find which brings us to the next paragraph so at least we find item 1 and item 2 are recently unnerved are recently are freshly excavated so these are words that give you hints recently un unnerved which also point at this freshly excavated chariot yeah a chariot is uh, you know some kind of a war war 
more vehicle to carry uh, the soldiers like war chariot let's see yeah so this is a chariot war chariot yeah to give you a better idea of what it means anyway th was we're still looking for the third and the fourth item the real find the real find a what and a what still in one piece simple so what you need to do is try to locate two more items lifting a sheet he unveils a jagged three foot long shield the wood has rotten away but the shield design and brilliant rares and blah 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 and a few steps away is an intact military drum yeah so the last two items are there and you have one word shield and you have two words military drum for the last blank shouldn't be too difficult for smart people like you yeah uh, so I I didn't just give you the answers I hope I also gave you tips on how to locate the similar words and how to locate make a bet better guess at the answers that's what I want to do so badly instead of just giving you the answers number 18 paragraph 9 the artifacts so including the clay quiffers, the chariot, the shield, the military drum these artifacts are evidence of the Qing dynasty's what? well we have to move on to the next sentence um, so if you read on from line 102 together with the imprints of finely woven silk and linen textile textiles also found there these artifacts keywords similar words again artifacts offer clues in the question you find words the word evidence in the passage you don't see the word evidence but you find the word clues hints tips so which is a very similar word to evidence and you can be almost sure that here lies the answer these artifacts offer, offer clues about the distinctive artistry that flourished under the blah 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 blah. If you go back to A, B, C, D, the choice is there. Uh, so the answer should be related to either the economy, the political power, the military side or the cultural side of Qing Dynasty. Do you find anything to do with money, economy here, or politics, or military strength, or culture? There is one word that tells me the answer, and the word is <coughs> this art, artistry. These artifacts offer clues about the distinctive artistry that flourished under the Qing dynasty and the vibrant, vibrant palette that infused it. You see nothing about money or the economy, you see nothing about politics, you have nothing about warfare, military affairs, you only find this artistry. Even though you know, you n know nothing about distinctive, flourished, very difficult words, vibrant palette, at least you can guess from this word artistry, art, culture, and therefore brings us to the answer D. Cultural strength. That's how you do it. That's the trick. 19. Super difficult question with only 28% one third, less than one third of the candidates gone right. According to Rong Bo, why should the earth be treated like an artifact? Why the earth, the soil, be treated like artifact. Well, we know artifacts are the drum, the shield, the chariot, the figures, the heads. But why should the earth, the soil itself, be treated? Before answering the question, you need to understand the question. So this is what the question is concerned about. Why the soil, the earth itself, be treated like an artifact? Line 112, 113. 112, 113. 
Uh, if you have been listening to me closely, you should have noticed that I have rephrased the word earth into soil, and therefore you have the word soil here. That's the trick. With so much color and artistry imprinted on the soil, the ancient paint adheres to dirt more readily than to lacquer. Chinese preservationists are now trying to preserve the earth itself. So here lies the answers, actually. It's all about the earth, the soil. Why should we preserve, protect the earth as if it were, were an artifact itself? Why? Now, the answer is right here. But you need to rephrase it in your own words. If we look at that again, there's so much color and artistry imprinted on the soil. The soil itself has so much color and artistry in itself. And the ancient pain adheres to dirt more readily than to lacquer. And therefore the experts are now trying to preserve the earth itself. Now here are the key words. And if you look at that again, you can explain and you can answer the question why should it be treated as an artifact because so much color and artistry can be found in the soil because so much color and artistry is already in the soil itself we have to protect it so if you look at the answer it's basically saying the same thing so much color and artistry has been imprinted on the soil and therefore we have to treat it like an artifact or to be put it in another put it in another way the, because the paint the ancient paint the paint 2000 years ago sticks to dirt more readily than to lacquer so we have to protect it everybody all right everyone okay so that's how you get the answer and number 20 um, people are doing better with these blanks yeah if you refer to paragraph 10 you find uh, to 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 discover to create to reapply binding agent and uh, let me do you a favor by highlighting the keywords for you use pink this time Binding agent, yeah, and a reapply, yes, and uh, to to develop. And if we start from here, reading the sentence from the beginning, we are treating the earth as an artifact. The expert said the museum's head chemist. Well, I mean. She he, he's a chemist who helped develop a binding agent some kind of chemical that brings things together some kind of uh, chemical that sticks different pieces together yeah binding agent that holds the soil together so the color won't be lost the next challenge will be to find an acceptable method for reapplying this color to the warriors so so the, the the challenge is to develop, to create, to find, to make a binding agent for reapplying color to the warriors. Now that uh, the binding agent has been developed, invented already to hold things together. So what about the first one? The first one has a lower percentage because, uh, um, you know, the answer can be wrong well because it's a one word answer so you can't put down wrong bow you can't you can only put down wrong and it's not appropriate to put down bow because this person is obviously a Chinese and usually we put down the family name so that's wrong but there are other possibilities too you can call him a chemist but you have to be very very careful there if you want chemist to be your answer you either say a chemist or the chemist 
or chemists, plural. If you simply put down chemist, singular, without an article, it would be wrong. So that's why number one, 20.1 is a more challenging one. Either you get wrong or you get chemists or researchers or scientists or experts experts so in any case you need to put down the plural form if you are not putting down the family name of the person of the chemist the head chemist so that's the challenging bit and that's why most uh, half of the candidates didn't get it right now uh, boys and girls will take uh, a final break before the last part of this part A Thank you for your attention. I'll see you again soon. All right, here is the last page for uh, part A, 2013 paper one reading. Yeah, the last page, question 21. Uh, I'm going to skip the first two. Is true, false, not given again? Some, some of you are quite scared by this kind of uh, question type. But anyway, if you read carefully, you'll be fine. In 2011, the museum completed the excavation of the central burial mold. Uh, 2011, so first thing you locate the, the keywords. In 2011, the museum launched two long-term excavation projects on the franks of blah 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 blah. So the key question is, did it complete it or did it not complete it? Was it ongoing? or was that finished in 2011 the key word the answer hangs hinges on this word launches ah. so in 2011 the museum started the projects yeah and um, and it continues to say that more extensive excavations will yield mind-boggling discoveries. In other words, it's not yet finished. It wasn't finished in 2011. It started in that year and more excavations, more work was to be done. Yeah. So that's why it's a wrong statement. It's not even not given. It's wrong because they are saying different things, different versions uh, con um, I mean contradictory statements yeah so it's a wrong one 22 based on information in paragraph 11 Wu expects future discoveries to be Wu where are you Wu? Wu wow. there you go this is Wu uh, the museum's director. So what does uh, he or she say about uh, the future discoveries? Uh, let's look at uh, the quote. More extensive excavations will yield mind-boggling discoveries, discoveries which will amaze everyone. So keywords, they are mind-boggling and we also have a maze. Mind boggling meaning shocking surprising and amazing of course shares a similar meaning and if you go through the four choices here are they uh, are the future discoveries valuable colorful extensive or impressive we see nothing like amazing or surprising shocking here but there is one word that means very similar meaning which is impressive yeah it's nothing to do with the value or the color or the extensiveness but is impressive because it's amazing, it's mind-boggling, it's surprising. Yeah, that's the answer. Well, I, I would recommend the word mind-boggling to you to add it to your vocab book. Yeah, please. 23. According to paragraphs 12 and 13, the CR Museum is now trying to... Um, let's see. Uh, let's look at the CR Museum do we find a museum yes we have the museum and very quickly you find already the answer there now reflecting the evolution of the museum's views on historical accuracy it seems to me 
These are the key words. The museum's views on historical accuracy. New armies forming on pits west. Cracks and all. So, going back to the answer C shows a historically accurate view of the Terracotta Warriors. And so that's the answer. The museum, that's the goal of the museum. In future they want to show a more accurate view of the site, of the warriors, of the artifacts. Yeah, Cracks and all, meaning, you know, accurate because it shows all the imperfections, including the cracks and everything that is, you know, that may look ugly, but that is real. That's why it cracks and all, because it's accurate. So you see they are closely related. Accurate because they include the cracks and everything ugly there. 23. Now the last part of uh, the paper, part A. 24, blah blah blah. So if you've been following and understanding rightly, there shouldn't be any problem. So if we remember paragraph 2 to 3, it's mostly about putting pieces together. The locals, the locals, Yang and the two other two middle-aged women, the locals, putting things together. That's B. 4, 5. Paragraph 4, 5. Yeah? 4, 5. Something to do with colors, monochrome, multicolor, the emperor's colorful army. So it's, it, it used to be that colorful, although now it looks quite monochrome now. So that is it. That's paragraph 4, 5. Yeah? So, and paragraph 6, 7. Uh, uh, why does it have to be C, new preservation methods? And if you go to paragraph 6 and 7, you know the PEG, yeah? The new invention to develop a preservative known as PEG. So it's a new way to protect the artifacts. So it has to be C. Uh, paragraph 8 to, to 10, there you go, 8 to 10 colorful artifacts and colorful earth so we learned that it's not just about the artifacts but also about the earth we have to protect the earth itself if you remember the color and the artistry imprinted on the soil the earth so 8 to 10 has to be D paragraph 11 uh, that's F, future discoveries, future mind-boggling discoveries, yeah. And last, 12, 13. Uh, e, preserving the cracks. We, we, we just talked about the, the importance of keeping the historical accuracy, keeping all the cracks and all the ugly bits because they are the real bits. And uh, therefore, 12, 13 has to be the cracks. So the, the thing is, if you have been following and answering the questions rightly, understanding everything, the relationship of, of all the paragraphs and the key main ideas there, then towards the end, with this kind of question type, it's not a big deal, it's not uh, an obstacle at all. Now last, 25, the text. Is it a travel report? Is it a technical report? Is it a feature article? or an an opinion piece. Well, it's not a travel report, of course, because it uh, is almost about one single site, and it talks about many different aspects, like the, the preservation, the cultural side, and the historical side. So it's more than just a re uh, travel report. And um, is it technical, objective truths, or? an opinion piece, only the, the views of the writer, I would say something between the two extremes. Is it, it, it includes uh, technical knowledge, but on the other hand, it also uh, uh, shows the writer's own personal view. So it's somewhere in between and therefore the answer should be C, a feature article. If you try to Google it, 
or if you have some basic understanding of a feature article, what is a feature article? It is an article written to give depth to some events or some people or a certain issue by an expert journalist providing background information and also the writer's personal experience. So it's somewhere between technical side and also the subjective view of the writer. So it has to be see feature article. So I I bring you this article part A about Terra the Terracotta Warriors and um, yeah you now know why the word color has to be in the title because it's a key word in the passage yeah so that's part A I hope you feel more confident now or at least your previous uh, confusion is now um, figured out and your previous uh, queries now answered 2013 part A and so I'll see you next time and I appreciate it if you you know keep watching till this moment have a nice day take care see you next time bye